and I welcome to Last Food and Barbecue. So today I'm going to cook um, hind leg of a deer on my concrete offset. And this recipe came about after talking a little bit to uh, Ori Griswold over at Go Outside and Cook and Phil Riddick over at uh, Daddy Cooks. And so I would like to extend a thank you to them for helping me along. This is my first time doing this and it will be fun trying the recipe out. Anyway, I'm going to bring you in and show you what we've got. Okay, so it's my stepson's birthday tomorrow and he is um, a hunter. So he brought this uh, hind leg over from a deer uh, for me to cook for him tomorrow. And um, I'm going to start off today by putting some milk in this bag and let it marinate in milk to get a little bit of the game in it. Okay, so I just put a hole in the uh, corner of this vacuum bag and then I'm going to see how to do this. And that's not going to be enough. I need to get some more milk. There we go. So I guess it's going to be about, yeah, a quarter and a half or six cups of milk to fill this up. Okay, I'm going to put it in the fridge and uh, I'll meet you back here tomorrow. Okay, so this has been um, soaking in milk in a bucket in the fridge overnight. Um, time to get the milk away, pat it dry, and put some seasoning there on. There go. So, it's not really large. It's about five pounds. Um, yesterday when I put it in milk, it was frozen, so I couldn't trim it before. Um, but now I'm going to remove a little bit of the silver skin, and then just put some salt and pepper on it, bring it outside, and cook it for hours. Just going to season this with salt and pepper, and then... Uh, I'm gonna have some root vegetables uh, that I'm gonna braise this with and some red wine, uh, but I'm gonna show you all that uh, out by the grill. Anyway, uh, thanks for taking along so far. Okay, so we're outside again. I'm starting a chimney here and um, it's uh, freezing today, 37 degrees so far. Um, down here, it's really the coldest, right around freezing. If it gets to be um, below, like in the 20s, it's not that bad really, uh, but uh, right the round when it freezes it's really raw in the air anyway so i'm gonna um, uh, put the lit chimney of charcoal on top of the the bed of, of coals and then i'm gonna put a grate on there and i'm gonna sear the the venison or so i have some root vegetables i have some carrots some uh, parsnips some beet and then some mushrooms and i'm gonna put them in the bracing liquid which is uh, this Domaine de la Prade. It's a really good non-alcoholic wine that I always use for cooking. It really does give a really nice taste to it. Uh, anyway, um, I'll bring you back when it's time for searing. There we go. We got some coals. And I've got a hind leg. Uh, after I shut the camera off, my wife said, put some garlic powder on there. So there's some garlic powder on there as well. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can sear this and then flip it over and it's not searing. So I'm gonna move the rack down. We're gonna move this down. It's not that hot yet. It's gonna be like a caveman thingy. Maybe that is too close. Let's see what it looks like. Well, I'm gonna put it like that. We'll see. I just want some char on it. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a char on the thick end there and then um, I've put a little bit of oil in the pan so I can um, blanch the onions and garlic. There we go. So this is going to take a little bit and um, I'll bring you back. Time to put a little bit of the, of the vegetables on there. I already dropped the mushrooms in there. I'm going to spread out herbs so this is like a bed of veggies then on that uh, we're gonna place the shank just like so and um, I need some bracing liquid and then I'm gonna have to figure out how not to get the foil on there because I think I need this to be lowered down at the bottom of the pit to be able to close the lid it's going to be too high if it's up on a grate but i'll figure it okay, out so i've got a little bit of the bracing liquid actually heated that up to bring 
speed the process up a little bit. Bracing it for maybe five or six hours. Not sure yet, depends on the outcome. Okay, so try hanging that there. That could work. It cannot work. I could try hanging that right there. Works like a charm. Anyway, um, that's it for now. I'll bring you back in a bit. It's been about three hours, so I'm gonna check on this. You wouldn't believe the smell out here. It really does smell lovely. Okay. Um, I'm gonna turn this over and uh, well, it's not that tender. No, it's gonna need quite a bit longer. Anyway, let's do it this way for a bit. Okay, see in a few hours. Okay, let's see what we've got here. I need to lift this over and I'm gonna let it rest for a bit. It's really, really tender now. It's good. Okay, so I strained the sauce from the pan and salvaged some of the vegetables, so we can start with that. I kept the carrots and the mushrooms mainly. Anyway, I'm going to bring this to, to a boil and then let it simmer for about half an hour to reduce it some. And um, then I'll probably just uh, thicken it with a little bit of flour. Okay, so I've reduced this a little bit and I've added one um, can of... Um, Coconut milk because I didn't have any cream and I think that works just as fine and I'm gonna add a little bit of um, But I had to make it quick. So I um, Instead of having it pre-made I um, Melted two tablespoons of butter and uh, added two tablespoons of uh, all-purpose flour and I'm gonna add that a little bit at a time just to thicken this um, The pro of that is it's uh, gonna dissolve in the sauce little by little and it's not gonna make any lumps okay there we go so it's been resting about half an hour so we're gonna cut into this um see the bone should be right about there so i'm actually gonna follow the bone up like so um, cut this whole piece off that to the side and then Gonna start carving this like that, I think. Yep. Cutting across the grain. I do believe this might have gotten to be a little bit dry, but we'll see. Give this a taste test. There we go. Braised uh, deer hind leg. Hmm. I thought it was going to be drier than it was actually. The meat was very lean, as everyone told me. So I guess that would contribute to this. But with the sauce, it's going to be really nice. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Bye.